What's up boys, it's Sparker and of course I'm going to be showing you how to record high quality videos. So I reckon some of you in the comments have seen my amazing videos and you're like, you know what, I want to make some of them too. So you just hopped on Rust, you started recording and you saw the quality was this absolute doggy. So you've opened up my video and you're like, wow, okay, I'm going to learn how to do this. So here we go. So of course I've got Rust open and I'm just going to drag OBS over. So, uh, you see it here now, it's got a kind of cool pattern right here, but yeah, basically, um, it all starts off with your scenes and your sources. Your scenes are kind of like groups, and your sources are like what you put in the group, and basically, the only one that I've gotten right now is a display capture, but otherwise I can, got this other one, which is called Fortnite, because I used to do Fortnite, but yeah, um, that basically just only records my Rust, and the way that works, is I've gone and pressed the plus and I've done game capture and selected rust. So of course that's going to record rust now. And as for my settings, I'm going to show you right here. Oh yeah, we just before the settings. It's only using 0.8% CPU to like 1% CPU. So that's pretty insane. And I go to settings, and you can see in general doesn't really matter. I haven't even changed that. And the output, what you really want to do is go to the recording tab and you're going to put it on a variable bitrate and put it to 25,000 to 40,000. Now these are my personal settings. You can always go higher than that even, but I'm just not bothered because I don't want the file size to be massive. And the preset is quality and the profile is high. And that's pretty much what I've done. And the encoder I put up here, NVNC. Now this means that it's going to be using my graphics card to render all the frames out and encode it and stuff like for making what's on your screen into a video it's using my graphics card and I think this is the best way to go because um, you can experiment around with it but this is just really what worked really well with me so NVNC it's pretty popular and H2, H.264 yep I wrote it out and yeah so just copy these settings essentially this you know you can do it completely this copy paste them down and yeah, you got your recording settings right there and another thing that people wanted to know is replay buffer so on shadow play some people know shadow play you can press a button and it's gonna clip the last 60 seconds of your gameplay like you don't even have to be recording but you press this button and it'll clip the last 60 seconds so you can do it after you've already done something instead of before and all you want to do is enable replay buffer and put the time, like last 150 seconds it's going to be, and it's going to tell you how much memory you'll use. And then you want to go to hotkeys and you want to actually set it to something. I've done control Z, which actually is not very good hotkey, but that's okay. And those are basically my settings. The key to having good quality is basically the bitrate and the presets and stuff here. And that's how you record high quality and visually content. Yeah. Subscribe if you really liked the video, and I'm sure you did. Comment anything which you think about it, and I'll make sure to read all of them. Maybe leave a heart on them if they're nice. If they're not nice, I'll probably leave a dislike and maybe say some mean stuff about you. But yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.